Hello! The video you are about to see contains images of dolls only. Hello, Hello everybody! Hi everybody! Happy Friday! Happy Friday! Have you all had a nice week? Oh, the weather's been much more bearable this week, hasn't it, Mr. B? Well, it's been quite warm still. Um, yeah. uh, but, uh, you know, had shorts and t shirt on. Not that I'm going to show that to you on the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's much more comfortable. Uh, yes. I, it yeah, a bit of breeze stifling. outside. Yeah. Yes. Well, what have I got? Absolutely nada. Not a squatto. Nothing. What a rotten swizz. What a rotten swizz. What have you got? I've got a box because it's Friday. This is becoming too much of a tradition, isn't it? It's addictive, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> but I have got a box. You've got a box because we have a new arrival. <sighs> um, it is a magical creature in there. Um, so I know that some of you aren't so keen on magical creatures, so I'm just giving you fair warning. I hope you'll stay with us because she is very beautiful, going to be very beautiful. Now, a little bit of cheating does go on when we do unboxings. I don't like potential nasty surprises. So how we do this is I do take a peek um, and I get Karen, my carer, to take a peek when a box comes just to make sure that everything is OK. And I also take out the the paperwork, which is sensitive and has our address on and stuff. And I take the address off. But then I box everything back up as it's come so that Mr. B can see and he hasn't seen anything yet have you Mr. B? I haven't no no so, so I'm all keen and ready to go the floor's yours Mr. B oh thank you very much yeah I was trying to curb my impatience a little bit there while uh, <laughs> you were burbling on <laughs> I never burble. Oh, she does, doesn't she, ladies and gentlemen? I she never does burble. burble, but right. Okay, so what we've got, we have. This is another doll from Hidden Treasures, Silicon Art and Reborn Dolls, and uh, uh, you might not know. I think I told you, but I'm not sure. But Azori, the baby avatar, comes from there. Yes. Now we've got all sorts of lovely things in here, and we've got the the baby, of course. So if, you take so if I start out. passing you some things, mm -hmm. and you can tell can us hold them up. a little bit about what they are. Oh, this is a lovey. Let me hold it up the right way, and then Rhea can tell us. It's a monkey lovey, little monkey head, little blanky that's brown with white spots, and on the corner, each corner, are his little hands and feet. Oh, cute. I like these kind of comforter loveys. They're very, very cute. Oh, look, he's got a tail. No, he hasn't. I didn't think he I thought he had a tail, but he hasn't. No, there's little hands and feet, but no <laughs> tail. That's cute. And it's, oh, 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 oh. He rattles. He rattle. I he rattles. It, How uh, cute. You got it out of the box there. I didn't realise until, um, until I moved him. He rattles and he's all soft and velvety. Okay. Yep. All right, next thing coming up. That looks like a onesie. Nice one too. That's a white onesie with a multicoloured unicorn on the front, a big rainbow, and it says, I love rainbows and unicorns in silver. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. There we are. And this is another onesie, which I think is plain. Yes, plain white. What a choice of onesie to wear. I don't know that we've got anything else, have we? I, don't know. I think that might be. I think that might be everything. They should never send much with her. No, no. So I think that's it then. So what we need to do now is to. Uh, if you just... hand me the baby. I'll hand you the baby in a minute. Let me uh, put the box down properly, and then I'll hand you the baby. Why am I handing you the baby? Oh, I thought I'd get her unwrapped for you. Oh, no, no, no. We'll do that in a minute. Oh, okay. We will. No, I'm not giving you the baby. Oh. You've already seen the baby. <laughs> what is this all about? I've got the baby. Here. you got the baby. Okay. All right. Quite a weight. Yeah, she Goodness. weighs nine pounds. Yes. Okay. Shall we uh, stop then? Okay. Just for a little while, get everything set up, and then we'll come right back. Okie dokie. That's what we'll do. Back in a sec. Okay, so we, here are we are back. We are back, and um, this particular baby, she came wrapped in two things: a blanket, which we couldn't actually 
put on her for you because it was very see-through and she also came wrapped in this very cool hooded baby towel which was actually a cool thing to put on her for the reveal so mr b shall we shall, shall we do, we do this, this? All yeah right then so we're going to do it in the usual style okay so we're going to do the right foot first put your best foot forward <laughs> all right so here we go then here we go that's not a foot <laughs> that doesn't feel like a foot to me oh does it feel like look to you? at that everybody look at that that's a bit funny isn't it feels more like a hoof yeah it might well be a, a hoof. little hoof it is so that says to me uh, a fantasy fantasy baby of some sort absolutely yes so that's the first one and it's also a glittery lilac hoof so okay definitely we are going fantasy definitely yeah we'll do the next one now yeah okay and that feels uh, just the same so we've got both of them there now there right. we go all right Let's see now what then. the hands he's like. We're going to do the hands now, right? Okay, so. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> there's another one. <laughs> the 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 skin feels really good. Yes. Yes, doesn't it? Yeah. The little feel I've had of it. Yes. Feels really good, actually. It's great. And we'll just do the other one here there we go so we've got we've got that one as well so what do you think might be under here people what could it be or could it be a little a little pig with trotters do you think or a little i don't know a little i don't cow, know but it's donkey. human shaped though. human shaped yeah so it's a hybrid type thing yeah what do you think it might be shall we shall uh we not look, keep them in suspense any longer absolutely all right so ready then here we go and wow. there the baby is yes she is hello beautiful hello beautiful oh look at that pretty skirt she's got on yes this is a baby unicorn the sculpt is called dreamer and She's, she's a bit skew if Miss B. Can we straighten her up a bit? There, there we, we are. She's just so beautiful. It's not even funny. Um, to describe her to people who can't see, um, she's just absolutely gorgeous. She has, she has a shape. She has the shape of an upright human baby. But her legs and arms have a an equine look to the shape of them and she has hooves rather than hands and feet if you look at the back of her little um, legs she has that very kind of equine curve to the back of the hoof here which i really like and her little shoulders excuse me leaning over you mr b that's okay they slope out here and her arm Kind of bandies out until it bends and comes down here which is again a really equiney look her color is pink kind of like a candy floss pink um but the base of the base body color is candy floss pink and then her hooves are glittery lilac the color in her creases is a pale minty blue and she has blue around her eyes. She's a sleeper. Oh, look, at, look at her little ears. Yeah, blue around her eyes. And blue down her nose. To give her the shape of the kind of horsey looking face. She will take a full bottle and a full dummy. Um, she has big pointy ears like a horse's ears. With lilac glitteriness inside. And then... Did I say that her hooves were glittery lilac? I did yes, you did, yes. All down the front of her, her chest and her tummy, are also this glittery lilac. And on her navel is a star, um, which is a darker, more violety type colour. 
And then her horn. Have you seen her horn, Mr. B? No, I haven't seen the horn yet. Look. No. In between her, just below her ears. Oh, yes, I have seen that. Yes, yes. There we are. A horn looks like a twist of barley sugar or a twist of candy cane with a little point at the end. And it is twisted lilac and pink and very glittery. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> and then when I have her, which I'm going to have her in just one minute. You think? Um, I hope. I hope. <laughs> I'm supposed to be. I'm, I'm supposed to be having her. That's the plan. Um, you will see that she has a beautiful mane and tail of pale pink fluffy hair. She's really amazingly beautiful. I think she's wonderful. I think she's one of the best we've got. Oh, wow. That's saying a lot. Yes. That is saying a lot. You, I, I was afraid you wouldn't like the fantasy baby. No, no. I mean, you know how much I like Azuri, don't mm. you? I think she's just as good. Yeah. So we're going to pause again for a moment. I'm going to take her and perhaps you can take a story so that you've got someone to hold. All right, then. And I'm going to get her dressed because um, this skirt that she's wearing, it's a pink frilly skirt. It's nice, but I do I think she should have something to cover her top half. So I'm going to just do a quick change of her and then we will also tell you her name. Right, we're back. Here we are. After having just had a huge flap because I couldn't find what I wanted to put on, madam. Okay, so um, you've got Zori now, haven't Hello, you, Mr. B? <laughs> Zori me. loves her new friend, don't you, Zori? Yes. <clears throat> so, there we go. Let's get this off you. And she's just got a little nappy on underneath her. Can I give that to you? Mm -hmm after that underneath that fluffy skirt and what I'm going to put on her is this cute little sleeveless baby grow I've got it up the right way I think I have yes I have and this comes from Romany Reborn on eBay and it's um it's white I think the body of it isn't it mm -hmm. and it's got this really beautiful wide double frill of pink tulle and lace that goes right round the neck and right round the front in like a double like a border almost and it has a diamante button and bow trim at the top and the bottom there were actually diamante buttons um, down the front too but one of them was coming off and it actually came off and I think had to take the other one off too because otherwise it would have looked wrong so they could have done with being sewn on a bit tighter but then never mind these things happen sounds pretty anyway it's beautiful you wait till you see now come on little darling and we're going to discuss names i've actually got a tag to do later this week about um reborn labour and pregnancy and things like that because it's been very much on my mind recently because a friend I I watch her channel Pixie Mommy's Reborns has had a is having a difficult reborn labour and we've been having difficult reborn carrying time and labour haven't we Mr B mm. and I saw a tag about labour and delivery and I thought it was reborn labour uh, that's what you that's what you call it the time that you're waiting for a new reborn between its shipping and its arrival yes for those who aren't familiar with the term <laughs> um some people call it reborn labor but just, it's come, just a joke you've come up with this really cool if i can say so tag well about it haven't yeah you? because because the reborn the, the, the labor and delivery tag i saw come up here to, to mommy darling um wasn't about what you might call reborn labor it was about real labor and unfortunately that is something i don't know anything about so i couldn't do the tag so i thought i'd come up with a reborn labor pregnancy labor and delivery tag for those of us mummies who only know about reborns and for those of us who have children but also have reborn labor and delivery uh, for anyone and daddies now this is too big for her 
and it doesn't sit right if you let it bag. So I'm just going to do a little bit of cheating here. And just give it a little twist and then just tuck it in at the bottom of her nappy there, like that. And make sure that it frills. It's pro oh, it's come undone, look. Tuck it in tight enough. <laughs> um, but the reason I said I think a lot about names is because there's another tag that I was going to do instead. And that is Auntie June's tag from Reborn Baby Hope and Joy. Because this this caftan I'm wearing, the microphone, the material is very fluid. I'm going to just pull up to my shoulder a minute so I can smooth her mane. There's her mane. Can you see it? Oh, aren't you beautiful? I'm just going to smooth her mane because it does get fluffled and ruffled. There. And I don't like to put a comb through it because it's very fine. There you go, darling. Aren't you beautiful? I'm going to lie her down again. Look, Daddy. Oh, let's have a look. Yes, because I've got a Zori here. Oh, that looks nice. Yes, feels lovely, that does. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you want to do swapsies? Do you want to cuddle them? No, you keep her for now. Um, is that all right? Yes, you keep her for now. All right. Um, but yeah, I, I was going to do um, Auntie June from Reborn Baby Health and Joy's tag. And... I thought of this one, so we'll do Auntie June's next week. Yes, promise. we have got it in reserve. We have got it. And she was asking about names. Now, when um, we first got um, this little lady, and I, as I said, we, we do a slight cheat with unboxings. I did just take a peek. You didn't see her, did you? Mr. No, I didn't, no. Um, no. I did just take a peek at her. And then we put her straight straight away. Oh, look at the little star around the bottom of her horn. I hadn't noticed that. As I said, I only just took a peek at her. Um, I had a name all picked out for her. I was going to call her Rosalina. We were going to call her Rosalina, weren't we? Mm. And I could feel that the bond was there. I could feel that it was going to be okay. But it wasn't quite right. It felt like, you know, when you have two halves of a magnet and they kind of almost work, but they don't because something's in the way. A bit of grit, a bit of dirt, mm. something's not quite right. It just, I couldn't put my finger on what wasn't working and then it came to me. It was like with Catalaya. Do you remember Cat with Catalaya? Yes. It wouldn't work. And that was because we were going to call Catalaya Serenity and it just didn't suit her. So I said that to you this morning, didn't I, Bea? You did. I said, that name isn't right for her. It's going to get shortened to Rosie. And Rosie is not a name for a beautiful, magical creature. So I thought, what can I call her that says pink, that says jewels and sparkles and magic? And what I came up with was with the, the name of a beautiful pink gem, and that's Tourmaline. Um, so she's going to be Tourmaline amethyst which is a pink gem and a purple gem and for short he's tommy hello tommy <laughs> and i think that's really cute actually he's soft fluffy beautiful cute little tommy hello tommy so what do you think of the, her everybody what do you think of her what Let do you think know. of her rear i think she's absolutely charming oh. <laughs> Some people, as we know, are not very keen on magicals, fantasy creatures, but I'd love to know what you think of mm. them. Let us know in the comments. Yeah. Say hello. Come and say hello. Mr. Yes. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Tommy. <laughs> there we are. Uh, we know one person who loves it a bit, and you will be hearing from her tomorrow. Ah. Right. <laughs> The little chatterbox is back. Yes. So until <laughs> we see you tomorrow, we will love you and leave you. Well, we must be. We will. Take care of yourselves and enjoy your babies. We really hope you like our two little magical friends. Yes. <laughs> and until we see you again, let's, let's be, be good, good to, to each, each other. Bye-bye.